Hello guys! So today we have a Geo Titan mobility scooter. It's a premium model. If you don't know uh, if your scooter is premium or a regular Geo Titan, please look at my other video and I am covering during the 5-6 minute video, I'm covering the difference between those two. So this is a 2023 manufactured in September. Uh, on my other and previous video, I've been showing how to convert right hand side twist handle to the left hand side. The downside of the conversion that you will be twisting your handle outward. And on the same video, I've been showing how to install aftermarket handle so you can actually twist it proper way inward. So watch my other video if this, if this is what you're looking for about this type of a conversion. This particular video today, I will be covering how to install this side thumb throttle instead of twisting it because some people they have medical condition and they cannot move their wrist up and down so they cannot throttle it. Also, there is an option to install not side throttle like I've been showing you, but throttle that you're going to push just down. So watch this video to the end. <clears throat> now those two parts that I've been just showing you, you can purchase them on Amazon or eBay for under $25. And I'm pretty sure that the Geo company where you purchase your scooter from, very soon they're going to be selling those uh, two parts or all of the twist style thumb throttle all of those uh, components will be selling as a direct plug and play but for now they still don't have it on their website so because some people been asking me if i can do for them that's what i'm doing right now so for this video you will need such a tools eight millimeter wrench two and a half millimeter hex wrench three millimeter hex wrench why there is a two different sizes two and a half and three because depends what type of a, a supplier or product you're going to buy some of them using three millimeter right here on the back and some of them using two and a half millimeter so that's why i have two of them now next you will need a phillips screwdriver you will need a wire cutter small or big does not matter a utility knife a maybe plastic zip tie or electrical tape whatever you prefer and uh, some of the electric wire connectors I will show you which one I prefer and why exactly this one will work the best so let's start with removing mirrors so you will need six millimeter hex removing this rubber cap and removing mirrors so this procedure will be almost identical for your previous uh, for the Geo Regal or Geo Titan model that was manufactured before September 2023. There will be a very slight difference in the connection plug, original throttle handle connection plug, and I will show you later on. But it's the same, 99% same procedure. So removing two mirrors. Okay, now. Uh, there is a uh, six screws. I already removed them to make this video shorter one two three four Five on the side and six on the side my wires are sticking out because I've been preparing for this Already once you remove those six screws by the way the side screws would be the biggest one So only two of them will be the biggest one and they are different so that you know which one you are using so the big ones goes on the bottom on the side and the small ones facing four forward front okay now install it uh, you insert your fingers under the plastic as much as you can and try to pry out this cover be gentle especially if you're working in a cold weather that you don't break anything basically those one two three four and five tabs that's the locking tabs that's how it's sitting alive once you remove this, you will need to unplug your headlight plug, which is pressing the connection tab and pulling out male from female connection plugs. Now next, you will be following your wire from the original 
throttle handle all the way to the end of it. Uh, maybe your wire will be going underneath or behind this brake line or going through this zip tie. So you might have to cut this zip tie so you can have this fall of those that wire to the end. And then you will see two plugs, two plugs. My plugs is already and all of those connections are a little bit, let's say, molested because I've been doing some of the soldering and I was experimenting all of this, preparing this video. So, but I reconnected everything and I soldered those wires. That's why they look like that. All of your wires will not have this shrink, obviously. So the first plug with the yellow, blue and white will be responsible for the speed switch, which is this one right here. So this one so this one will stay the same and you don't need to unplug this plug you will be focusing only on the second plug with the black wire okay and uh, now you will need to unplug your plug and you'll be working and connecting everything to this plug only from the scooter side so the throttle handle side will be uh, stays unconnected now let's take the accelerator handle and look what kind of plug we have well that particular seller did not give me any plug so it came with the three connectors like this and realistically realistically you could reuse this type of a plug but factory they sealed it with a hot glue and i'm not sure if you'll be able to remove those three pins that easy unless you will try to hit them and then push that locking pin and pull it out one by one so i do have as a technician i do have a spare plug and i can just click in and show you how easy it is plug and play two minutes but I understand that you will not be able you might not be able to find the same plug or reuse original one so I will show you how to hardwire those three wires to the plug now next we're going to remove a uh, rubber grip now rubber grip is just sitting on the pipe and you don't need to jam it and try to pull it out you just need to twist it with your one hand and pull it out with your other hand and ask for some help if needed if you will not be able to remove it and twist it out okay rubber is pretty soft but still going to sit tight now we have this uh, throttle new throttle and we're going to install it this way which is like this and this is really fine for pretty convenient but there is a downside of this and if you look closely on the side i already removed some of the plastic that has been originally sitting right here maybe like this yeah so i just took the utility knife and i, I cut it right here and I cut it on the bottom, so I open that space. I hope you can see this switch right here. It's visible for you. So basically this flat half moon spot will be sitting against this switch from the behind. This is the whole idea. Otherwise, if you don't cut, if you don't cut this plastic, this half moon will be will be sitting against the plastic and you're going to have a very short grip and you're going to have this gap in between this is not what you want to see you want to hide it as much as possible and make it flash okay now once you cut this once you cut out this now you're ready to secure your uh, thumb throttle with the two and a half millimeter in my case maybe it's going to be three millimeter in your case but in my case it's a two and a half millimeter allen so that's what i'm doing okay i'll try if everything works okay this is not it we're not done yet it's sitting okay but now when we try to press uh, brake lever if you look from here 
we cannot press it completely because the brake lever is actually touching the housing and you cannot apply parking pin down because the brake lever is not completely squeezed so you will need to lift up or uh, raise up your uh, brake lever okay so for this purpose you will need to remove this screw right here that holding this another half side of the shroud to display dashboard so you can have okay, you can pry out this plastic and you can have access to this bolt to make it loose once you make it loose now you can make more final adjustments so you can you can move it up you can pull it out whatever needed so you can pass this this you can squeeze and you can apply parking pin as you can see so this is the whole idea so you can have some gap in between the throttle casing and the brake lever once you found the best position for you tighten the screw now once you did all of this uh, replace that screw from the inside okay okay try everything again if everything worked as you want and you have gap in between the casing now it's not it the final adjustment you will be doing after you're going to install the actual plastic shroud. See, I'm not connecting handle right now because I just wanted to do, I want to finish with that first. So once you install plastic and remove your, release your handle. Now look if this is not, this uh, brake parking lever is not touching the plastic shroud and if it is you will need to shave it it's a plastic so it's easy to shave with a file or with a knife utility knife just like that as long as you're going to have some gap and this uh, mechanism is not going to pry out this entire color so i hope this is all clear here now when it comes to the connecting three wires on the on the into the plug if you have this type of a connectors three connectors let me cover all of this with a yellow towel so you can focus on a plug that goes into the scooter maybe it's going to be more visible for you so if you have this type of a connectors you can always just click it in place black to black and it's going to stay there red to red and white to green and now you will be asking well it's a different color code now now how did you know which one you connect and why did you connect white across the green well it's actually guys does not matter those two wires on both edges does not matter how they connect it because the most important would be that you connect black across the black this is the most important those two in the middle they have to be and every manufacturer is going to have a black wire on their throttle the rest of the wires can be different colors so i just randomly plugged in like this and let's start our scooter and see if the scooter is going to move so turn on the ignition put machine on the drive and let's try to accelerate well as you see my scooter is not moving so let's let's do this turn off the ignition and uh, let's switch white with white color on this side and this red on the on that side and see what's going to happen so again if you connect it wrongly nothing is going to work nothing is going to get burned so don't worry about that just swap those two wires so the color code is not always going to be 
matching especially there's so many manufacturers on the market and now we're going to accelerate and see the scooter is driving okay now we have a driving scooter now the question is some of you asking what to do if you have a, this type of a connector came with your accelerator handle well don't worry about that as long as you have three wires it does, ma does not matter what kind of plug you have it does not matter if it's a original plug and pl a play a plug if it's going to be just a bare connectors like this it doesn't matter as long as you have a throttle with the three wires and every throttle is going to have black wire that's the most important the rest of the colors don't worry about them so in your case you will have to cut off that plug and uh, yeah there is a another type of a plug that it might come with with like this so don't worry they all going to have a black wire and it's not going to be always on the middle that the black wire on the middle like on the, in this case it doesn't matter the position so once you cut off these three wires and make them naked you're going to have three wires also and you can connect them to this plug well it's not going to be same connection unless you have a soldering iron and you can uh, solder it but let me show you how to hardwire it so that's why on the beginning i'll be showing you this little package with uh, electrical connectors compact lever actuated connectors so i really do like them even though they, they are made for the uh, bigger wires 12 gauge and you have only 16 or 18 gauge here but they are working really well even for such a thin wires uh, there is also another type of a connection uh, connectors like a screw type connectors like the old style that most of you probably have seen it before but i don't really like them and they get loose not secure so the best way would be if you can solder those three wires directly to each other from one side to another or use this type of a quick connector now for this particular throttle that i have so what this do it's actually connecting one side to another side together so you pry out lift up, uh, lift up those uh, uh, orange levers and you connect in this case i don't even have to remove the uh, or cut off this connector because it fits exactly and you can see very secure now i need to connect same black wire from here into this hole so that's when you will need to cut off and hardwire it so i'm doing this especially for you and i'm going to reconnect everything like it was originally from the factory later on so this is only for this video so black and black okay and click the connector and if you try to wiggle it it's extremely secure now do the same with the red even though you remember red was across from green but you can change it anytime because this is a quick connector it's not like you're doing soldering job and you have to worry about oh i have to solder proper way so connect red with green okay not yet and wiggle it and we have a left one uh, the last one i mean red so we cut out this original plug Removing the plastic isolation and the last connector that we have for here and white. Okay, well, there you go. 
look again as long as you have black from the throttle handle to black going to the scooter as long as you have other two colors connected and you can switch them anytime if your scooter does not move so let's turn on the ignition and see if the scooter is going to move and my scooter is moving like it should so now you are ready to install your grip back in place and now you have a very nice setup if you it's if it's really bothering you that this side of the grip is still twisting because you're going to grab it with your hand well you can always apply a crazy glue between the rubber grip and the casing and it's going to uh, glue it permanently so it will not twist or you can use some kind of screw from underneath between the actual rubber and the casing and it's going to sit tight so again when you will be buying any of those type of uh, accelerator throttles don't worry about the shape of the plug because you'll be hardwiring most likely unless they will send you a direct plug and play connector exactly the same shape that you have but you have to worry about how many wires on that accelerator handle it must be three only not two wires not three wires not four wires not five not six but only three and it will work on the geo products and by the way this is a great product and very friendly for modifications and i have all kinds of modifications on my other videos so look at that please now next and the last i remove the grip again if you want to install this type not throttle it to the side but throttle it down let's remove this origin uh, what i installed put on the side now here is the trick if you're going to install this type looks nice but it's going to touch your casing as you can see so unfortunately the only option to shave off one side of the accelerator handle or let's say cut off with your nippers if you have something like this then you can finish with a regular file should look much nicely than what I did right now or with a knife if you will be able to use a knife up to you so you have to cut it off to be flush with the with the housing and only then you can have a thumb throttle and the grip will fit nicely as you can see if not if it's still touching as you see then no big deal just cut off partial side of the of the grip so it will not be touching and will be freely for you so whatever modification you like guys it's all will work as long as you have three wires and then you can put it to any position that you wish you can twist it same idea with the with the wires you will have to cut them off remove the plastic isolation and maybe i'll use a utility knife for this okay and now we have three wires so same black as promised so every manufacturer going to have black which is goes directly to black to a scooter and now you have blue and red and then you just try which one is working for you and twist them or cross them change them around if needed and the last that i wanted to mention for those people who are doing such a modification on their older geo <coughs> regal or geo uh, titan regular titan with this type of a throttle you will not have two same plugs like this scooter have you will not have two same plugs coming out by the end of the throttle but you will have three plugs one of them for the switch in the between the forward and reverse so forget about this little one with two, two wires just focus on the rest of the two plugs and this one stays for the switch 
and this one stays for the goes for the throttle only so you will have to hardwire it uh, this type of a accelerator now I purposely have complete complete wiring harness of this new uh, on a previous model Geo Titan and Geo Regal so again I'm gonna use yellow so you can see what I'm talking about so on your scooter you will find this plug on the, by the end of the throttle handle and unfortunately don't look for a black wire because you're gonna have blue so look on the opposite side from your original throttle and you will see black wire so it's going across blue as long as you connect black wire from your aftermarket handle which is uh, any one of them as I've been showing you before it, they all going to have black wire as long as you're going to have connected your aftermarket uh, throttle with black wire going to blue the rest of the two colors does not matter as you can see this one is brown going across red and white across white but it doesn't matter you can always switch them around if your scooter is not working but it must be three wires only so this is for the people this last part was only for the people who has 